что непривычно и привычно. Да, unusual. Да, всем доброго вечера. Продолжаем нашу пресс-конференцию. Good evening, everyone. We're continuing our press conference. Yes, please look at the camera over there. Вот камера. А, вот сюда, да? I'll be... Oh, there it is. So we're continuing our press conference now with Stanislav Salamovich Cherchesov. Please raise your hands so I could see you. Please, uh, whilst you're getting ready, the um, first question is, um, what can you say about the game and about our team's performance and the result? Well, there's not much to say about the, the result. It's um, all on the scoreboard. Uh, we've started started the game as we were planning to. We played very uh, in a very compact way, and the first uh, the first goal, uh, of course, affected our affected the uh, content of the game and um, the moral of uh, our team, which is which I didn't like. So we had to we would have to go on and just uh, keep going. We've made some changes in the um, second half. We started playing in a bit, in an even more compact way, but we couldn't really create as many moments uh, as we'd like. And there were a few moments that could have ended with a goal, but um, the Belgians just covered all the areas and didn't really let us play at all. Okay, so here are the hands. Uh, an Italian journalist? Oh, no, F uh, Finland. Ansi Karelainen, please. Hel go ahead. Hello, hello, Mr. Tertesov. Um I would like to ask, um, after no, Finland sure. winning, winning Denmark um, earlier today, how do you manage the situation and now do you feel pressured after that result? No, there's no pressure. Uh, we're in the tournament. Uh, of course, the first game we didn't really uh, get um, get played as as we wanted to, and we'd like we would have liked it to go better, but we couldn't. Um, so we're just now focusing on the game again. Against Finland, and then there will be the game against Denmark. The tournament doesn't stop at just one game, so um, we will be doing our utmost to win against Finland. Thank you. Now, Andrei Pankov, please. Good evening, Stanislav Salamovic. With regards to substituting Cherishev, was it a tactical one or did he just not uh, get into the game right? Well, first and f um, first, he didn't really get into the uh, um, enter into the game well, and second, yes, we did need to make some systematic changes. He played uh, under Duba, and it wasn't um, it wasn't very usual for him. We gave him some time to adapt, but when we saw that he he wasn't doing very well, we substituted him for Miranchuk. He knew that he would be playing, and um, he entered the game well, and he was quite useful to us. Um, of course, there was a um, there was a moment in the penalty box, and he should have scored. But well, there you go. Uh, Stanislav Schub from Germany, please. What's your opinion on the fact that uh, your players decided not to take the knee before the match? Uh, was there any sort of communication uh, uh, before the game? Where, where is this coming from? I didn't hear you well. Yes, please keep going. What's your opinion on the fact that your players decided to not take the knee as a gesture against racism? What, uh, did you have any sort of talk about it? 
No, we didn't talk about it at all. So, uh, what's your opinion on um, fans uh, jeering on the Belgian team because they decided to do it? Well, it's not a question related to football. If you have one, please ask me one. Uh, okay, Alexander Nwarski, please. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Stanislav Salamovich. Today, the formation that the Russian team was playing surprised everyone because uh, they haven't played in that formation before. Uh, why did you decide to play this formation? And uh, was the uh, positioning of uh, Zobnin was, uh, was based on the fact that they needed to um, to cover Hazard? Well, in some way you're right, but I really wouldn't like to answer your question. The tournament continues for us, and uh, we're just we're just doing our job. We selected this formation, and it worked, but we did concede from, and and it was a pretty much it was a pretty much strange goal. So um, Belgium uh, went forward and just were dominant and started dominating the game. Dima Suhinin, please. I can't see them, so I'm not very comfortable. I can't see who I'm talking to. Dima? That's not fair. I can see you, but uh, I can't see you, but you can see me. Stanislav Salamovic, you said that the, after after conceding the goal, the players um, got um, the players' morale got a bit low. Uh, why did you think that happened, and um, what did you see now in the dressing room? Well, we've um, we did some um, substitutions uh, in the half time, but when the goal just comes from out of nowhere, um, well, it was it was a bit of an upset to us. But we'll we'll aim uh, we'll aim to fix that. We got it. Uh, we got ourselves into it, and we'll try to get out of it. Please, um, we can do uh, a couple more questions if you have any. Please raise your hands. No questions? Okay, um, thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, we'll see you on the 16th.